Hello there buddy, you just call Reston here and today I'm back with another video. And today's video we'll be talking about how you can beat the YouTube's gaming algorithm. And guys, yes, I think I have cracked the code on how the YouTube gaming algorithm works and how you can optimize your views and what you need to do to get the most amount of views possible. And I'm not gonna tell you to all oh, make longer videos or have a higher retention rate, make better thumbnails. I'm not here to tell you guys what type of content or what you should make, but I will tell you guys some things that you can add and some things that you can actually control that will actually help you guys have more views and grow as a channel. And I've seen my fair share of videos that tell you, oh, make longer videos, have higher retention rates, do trendy topics or stuff like that. But we all know don't actually help out that much. But these five things that I'm about to tell you guys do actually make a difference and you should be able to see a difference if you guys follow them. And I have found five different things which affect the video and will kind of favor the algorithm and make it so that your video will get suggested more and overall get more views. And guys, before we continue on to the video, I would like to ask you guys if you guys do enjoy this kind of content to please leave a like and subscribe. As you guys can see, over 9,000.69% of you guys are not subscribed and it really mean a lot if you guys took your time to subscribe for more interesting Minecraft videos and other videos. So yeah, without any further ado, let's get into it. And before I tell you guys the five things, I have some information to tell you guys. So the way in which that I count a video as doing well for now is depending on how many views it gets. So I did this by seeing how many views the video got. Because watch time and everything like that varies on the video, but the only thing that remains constant among all videos and the algorithm favors is view. And there are five things which make the algorithm favor your videos over the others. And guys, all of these are tested on the gaming side of YouTube. So if you're a gamer and make gaming type videos, these should help you out. And I'm not sure about any other ones, but these do work for gaming style video. And we will get into them right now. So the first thing is hashtags. And most of you guys have probably seen this before and if you guys see a video and you open it and you see the title, on top of that you should see some hashtags if they have put them. And YouTube generally likes to favor these and there are more ways in which your video can be found if you use hashtags as these can also act as tags in some sort of way. As if you add these hashtags, they can also be searched up or if another person uses these hashtags and they open that hashtag, your video may be seen, meaning that you have a higher chance and a higher reach to audience. And the way you can add these hashtags is that you can go into the description of your video when you're making it or your previous videos and then all you're going to want to do is go into the description section, not the title and then go all the way down and then you're just going to want to add your hashtag just add them like in a row with spaces in between like hashtag YouTube space hashtag gaming space hashtag Minecraft if you do something like that those should appear on top of the title once you've saved your changes and these should give you a higher chance of your video being suggested on YouTube. number two is tag spamming although this does actually go against YouTube's terms and services, a lot of people actually do this. And I don't know the particular reason why, but people who actually do this do actually seem to get more views. And the videos with these tag spams actually seem to collect a lot more views, although they do not actually count as tags themselves. But this does seem to have effect on how well a video does. So tag spamming is when you go into your description and then you write tags also include. I've seen some people do this and I've seen some people don't. So either way, I think this works. And then you'd follow that up with all the tags that you would put in that video if the 500 normal tag cap is not enough for you. And you would just go about listing all the tags such as Minecraft comma space the next thing you want to put. So that is how you'd go about putting tags in your description or I've also seen people just writing a tag going down a line and then writing more tags like that. So you guys can do this either way but it's not really recommended as it's kind of against the terms and services but however this actually does get you a lot more views and that is actually a fact. then this is something that I like to do which actually seems to help and makes the videos actually do better than without this and this is filling up everything 
As you know, YouTube has a maximum amount of characters you can put into anything, such as the title has a cap of 100 characters, the description has a cap of 5,000 characters, and the tag section has a cap of 500 characters. And what I like to do is fill up every single one of them to the maximum. Like tags, I fill it up to 500, my description, it's filled up to 500, and the title is usually filled up to 100. So what I do is fill up everything to the maximum YouTube allows me to, and I have seen that videos with this seem to do better than videos that don't have this in them. So I recommend you guys do this as well to increase the amount of views your video gets. And this is an alternative to tag spamming, as tag spamming I'm pretty sure doesn't actually affect the tags in any way but actually affects the full description counter and maybe it makes it so the description becomes full but I'm not too sure about that but I do recommend you guys filling up every single one of those to the maximum and this does seem to actually give me a lot more views than it does without. And this is one of the most important ones, and these are timestamps. If you guys don't know, you can go to the description of your video and write the time in this format and then put the colon and then put what you want it to mention. It would split the YouTube time bar and then split it into sections of what you wrote and this is how it looks like. And you guys can do this in this format. You guys can replace the X's with the time of the video. So the first one would be 00, zero and then you put the time in which that section begins and then you put in the word that you want it to display on the split time bar. And the benefit of having these timestamps is not only will the algorithm actually prefer your video because it's more complete and more professionally done than the others, it will give you a lot more views because of Google. If the word that you write down, which will be displayed on the time bar, matches to a frequent Google search, that time bar will pop up and your video will be the one that will be suggested on Google. As many of you guys have probably seen before, if you guys look up a certain thing on Google, it will actually give you guys a certain section in a YouTube video and tell you to watch that. And you guys can do that by adding timestamps in the description, which count as views and free promotion by Google basically. So if you guys have some extra time, I really do recommend you guys sectioning your videos and adding timestamps. These timestamps do actually make a massive difference. And then finally, I have my secret one. Although not too big of a secret, I've been doing this for quite a while now and I believe that this is one of the main reasons on how you can get yourself views as a smaller creator. This is a special formatting tag that used to be used a long time ago when YouTube was still only a couple of years old. This used to be used quite frequently. And this tag is YT colon quality equals high. As I've mentioned before, this is a formatting tag which you can put in your tag section and this will make YouTube think your video is high quality. If you don't already make 4K videos which do actually help your videos do well, which is actually another thing, you can put this tag which will then technically consider your video as 4K although not giving the options or anything like that but does actually suggest your videos as it would any other 4K video. So that is a formatting tag which I really do recommend you guys using and actually brings in a lot more views than you guys would expect. And yeah, those were the things I managed to find while figuring out the YouTube gaming algorithm. And if you guys use all of those things I've mentioned in a single video multiple times, you should be able to see that at least some of your videos will do better than others and you will be able to get a lot more views than you usually do. And guys, after you guys tried these, please let me know how your videos did and comment them down below. And I would like to see if the things that worked for me actually worked for you guys as well. And guys, I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you guys did, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe as it really does help out the channel and it also really does mean a lot to me. So you guys, thank you guys so, so much for watching. See you guys next one. Peace.